Hello, hello. I thought we could do a voiceover vlog today. We are supposed to get record highs. Uh, it's supposed to be like 95 degrees today in May, which is craziness. And uh, I'm sure the barn is gonna be crazy busy this morning, which is why I kind of thought it just might be easier to do a voiceover vlog today. Um, so we're gonna do barn chores together and I'm gonna try to get some cleaning up done today. I um, took some horses off property with some clients yesterday, so, and because it's so hot, I'm probably just gonna be doing some light hacking for the most part today. I'm definitely gonna ride Doppler this morning early before it gets too hot. But I figured we could just transition this into a busy Saturday voiceover vlog and uh, we'll do that today. So let's get to it. I know I have not been showing the hay gain a ton lately, but I have been trying to be adamant about using it every day. Especially since Doppler was having this big allergy flare up, I try to make sure he has access to steamed hay while he's inside during the day. I know I don't talk about this good resource that we have in the barn enough, but given the fact that we're kind of at the end of last year's hay, uh, waiting for the first cut of the season, the hay can kind of just be a little extra dusty and it's also a time of the year where the season's changing and the horse's allergies can be flaring up. So using the hay steamer this time of year is, in my opinion, especially important to keep the horses extra happy and healthy. So I've been trying to bring back some groundwork and natural horsemanship methods back into my daily routines. So when you see me backing up Richie here, that's just some stuff I'm working with him on just to kind of continue to instill and teach respect for us and make sure he has good manners um, as he continues to grow. He just turned four. So naturally, I'm starting the day with getting horses fed and chores done, and given that I know that there's a lot of clients that are going to be here really early today, I'm going to try to move along kind of as quickly as possible. I got here a little bit early, it's about 6.45 in the morning, and I'm going to try to kind of hustle through some chores this morning to beat the heat and to beat kind of the chaos of people being in and out of the barn. I am getting right to starting Doppler's beamer session because I want to make sure I ride him early before the heat hits so as soon as all the horses are fed and all the stalls are mucked, I'm going to tack him up. So I figured it's a great time to go ahead and do his beamer session while he's eating and I'm mucking stalls. So I have finished mucking and I am wrapping up the last of my morning chores and then I'm going to start tacking up Doppler with you guys. He definitely needs a quick good grooming this morning so we'll make sure to do that first. I try to always spend 
at least five minutes doing some basics if I don't have a lot of time and doing a quick massage over with that posture prep groomer. The only good thing about getting here at 6.45 and it being a Saturday is everyone else sleeps in. So I beat the morning rush. I did a time lapse of our grooming session today because there were already a few people in the barn, but uh, I always try to pick feet. Like I said, run over him with the posture prep groomer briefly just to warm up all the muscles, even though he actually got a beamer session before his ride this morning. Then after the posture prep groomer, I do a quick dust off and at least put some pink stuff on his coat. That way his skin gets moisturized for the day. I am still trying a Kent Master saddle. I think I mentioned on the previous vlog that this isn't the one I'm keeping, but I did order one that's a high wither model with a movable uh, like knee thigh block that should be here in a few weeks. So hopefully, hopefully that ends up working out for us as our dressage saddle. I still get to try it out before I commit to purchasing it, but I'm hopeful that that will be the one for us. My ride was pretty brief today and I didn't film any of it. And then honestly, the day got so hot and it got a little crazy. So I didn't film a ton in the middle because we were running around drenched in sweat. <laughs> the girls and I finished up the day by starting to reset a new course for jump lessons next week, but we all got pretty tired pretty fast with the heat and the humidity. So that kind of wraps up the vlog for today. Doppler finished off the day enjoying his hay in the shade, and of course he was looking for cookies, but hopefully we will all recover from this hot weekend, and I'll have more for you guys next week, so stay tuned and see you guys soon.